welcome back my name is priyendra kumar and this is the second video for process dashboard tutorial and in the first part of this video we have learned how to create this uh, container and we have created these boxes and we put these tax boxes in this box for the different matrix now in this video we will learn how to uh, create these tax box dynamically connected with the data and these uh, small graphs and the below section okay so friends first of all i'll go to the uh, data tab so this is the data one and here i'll put the total and in this total i'll make the sum of this and sum of calls sum of revenue now sum of this total handle time so this is the total handle time this is the average handle time total handle time i have taken multiply ast which is average handle time multiply by the calls taken okay so now if we will get the uh, ast so what we will do we will take the total handle time divide by total calls handled so we cannot take the average of this because it will be average of average which is incorrect so that's why we will take like that and uh, this is the formula for conversion so number of calls received this and the sales made this so uh, we have divided sales divided by calls which is the sales conversion so we can fill down the same formula control d and this is the revenue per sale so revenue per sale means the total revenue divided by number of sales so we can fill down this formula we have got all the numbers we just need to change the format so i'll go to the home take the format vendor and we'll give the same format okay so we can uh, put a different color here so that we can identify this is the total line and our data line is this okay friend now i'll go to the dashboard and i will insert a tax box from here and drag it here now select this tax box and press equal to now go to the data one first of all i'll take the calls enter so this is the total calls for the year now we can format this go to the format remove the save fill select no fill remove the shape outline no outline tax fill as white okay now i'll go to the home i'll change the uh, font so i'll take for this uh, sorry from home we will take the uh something dark text like uh, we can take this one sorry not this one Arial black yes now change the size okay friends so we have created this now make the copy of this put here copy and keep it here we can make select all three together and copy and paste here like that so now what i will do this is the correct number for the calls but this is not the correct number so i'll see here sorry you know in data uh, the calls is on column c sales d e and d continuously okay so here i will select d now here i will select e then f then g h so as you are seeing uh, these tax boxes have been hidden but actually these are not hidden this is here but the 
this tax boxes is not visible due to the uh, white uh, sorry black font color so what i will do i'll select this one and i'll go to the home i'll pick the format painter and just click here okay and same again home format painter and just click here again format painter click here so now all the text boxes are visible so our number uh, are displaying here now we just need to create this bars month on month so i'll go to the data and in data i'll copy these six matrix which we have to display and this is the support column to creating the ast so first of all let me change the format of ast so that yes okay now copy these six matrix and we can paste a special value and then transpose here now here we will create let me change the row width here we will create the uh, bar spark line so i'll go to the insert and in insert i'll select this column spark line and this is for calls so i'll give the range for calls this is the range for calls last one is the total so we'll not select that one okay now we can select the uh, next go to the insert and column and now this time we will take the sales now again go to the insert select uh, the s3 which is revenue insert column and revenue range next one is conversion go to the insert column conversion range and the next one is AST go to the column spark line and then AST and the last one is sale uh, revenue per sale okay now we will change the uh, color of the spark line from the design so I'll go to the design and I choose the this yellow one in this style because we have the background color uh, as black so now i'll pick the first one s1 go to the home copy this go to the dashboard click anywhere on the seat now again go to the home go to the paste and paste as linked to picture now i will keep it here I'll go to this seat and from here I'll go to the view and I'll remove the grid lines. Now we can change this chart top is smaller as per a requirement. and we can keep it here okay friend now it's simple we will just make a copy of this and paste here the second matrix copy both paste here copy and paste here now we will change the reference this is on s1 this is on s2 we can see in data sales is on s2 s3 s4 so we'll give the same difference s1 so this should be s2 so 
will take as 3 here similarly here as 4 as 5 and as 6 so friends we have created these bar chart a small bar chart basically spark lines okay so now we will create these below section uh, this uh, pie chart and this line chart and or the uh, you know the column chart or is dynamic chart basically okay so we will learn this thing in my next video so please watch the next part of this video to learn the below section thank you so much for the watching